Hello and welcome to the World News. For today's top stories, I'm Randall Chamias. The death toll in central Japan rose to nine on Monday after a tunnel on a major highway in Yamanashi Prefecture collapsed and caught on fire at the weekend. Two people were also seriously injured in the smashed 47-kilometer tunnel about 80 kilometers west of Tokyo on the Cho Expressway, a main road connecting the capital of western Japan. An official from the highway operator, Central Nippon Expressway, said the metal rods used to secure the concrete panels to the tunnel's walls may have become loose. In another incident, part of a dam under construction in western Cambodia collapsed on Saturday, injuring at least four workers and leaving four others missing. Local media coding officials said the hydroelectric dam located on the Ate River partially collapsed around midday on Saturday as it was holding too much water. A search is underway for the missing workers, local media said. A Ministry of Mine and Industry officials on Sunday told residents not to worry. Meanwhile, an Indonesian designer and wood crafter has transformed a grassroots craft shop into a model of green, sustainable business practice. Singi Susilo Cartono is the brains behind a company called Magno, which produces stylish, handmade wooden radios, now in households all over the world. Let's find out more. One of the first things Indonesian businesswoman Indy Handono does when she gets to work is to switch on her Magno wooden radio. She says she admires the philosophy behind the design. The man responsible for the sustainable and stylish invention is Singi Susilo Cartono. Cartono was looking to capitalize on his product design degree after finishing college. He says his hometown of Kandagan was being ruined by illegal logging. So he decided to stay and make a difference. Indonesia itu sangat dikenal sebagai negara penghasil kayu. Tapi konotasinya negatif karena Indonesia is notorious for illegal logging, which causes enormous damage to the forests. So I wanted to design and create a high-quality product made from wood that could be a global icon. Icon design dunia, di mana produk itu dibuat dari material kayu. In 2005, Cartona built his first radios, 80% of which were made of local timbers like ebony, pine, and mahogany. And just three years later, he started giving back to the forest by planting thousands of seeds on a hill near his workshop. In one year, we only use 80 trees, and those trees support our 35 staff. So one staff member only needs two trees, and now we're able to replant 10,000 trees in one year. And as he'd hoped, Cartona's radios have become global symbols. 90% of his products are sold abroad, including in the USA, Europe, and China. His local customers are also fiercely loyal. I'm interested in the story behind this radio. The design has a philosophy. I admire the creator. I really like the radio. A radio that is broadcasting a message of sustainability, beauty, and a smart green business philosophy. In other news, Japanese spend a lot of time and money preparing for earthquakes. It's part of life, but protecting people is the top priority. But protecting things people can't live without is also important, and that includes water. Engineers at the major Japanese machinery maker have gained the international attention for their new development. It's a quake-resistant pipe that expected to keep the taps on once the shaking stops. After a massive 1995 earthquake in Kobe, western Japan, power companies across the country began making water pipes earthquake-resistant. Today, some 40% of all newly installed pipes are quake-proof. Kubota continues to develop new types of water pipes that company officials say can withstand earthquakes better than former types. What makes the latest product unique is how the pipes are connected. When an earthquake shakes the ground, the joints move flexibly. They don't just come apart. There are no gaps in these joints. 
so water doesn't leak either. Some parts of the joint expand, while other parts contract. The pipes form a kind of chain to absorb the impact of a tremor. The experiment confirmed that the two-ton, 22-meter long pipe was flexible. Los Angeles authorities are planning to begin using the water pipes on a test basis next year. This will be the first time that the product is used overseas. The type of Gen X pipe um, that you've shown us here in this demonstration uh, has got some promising uh, needs for us. Kubota is expanding its pipe business overseas. It has started talks with San Francisco city officials who are considering using the company's pipe. Turning out to sports news, crashed ice series defending champ Kyle Croxall skated to a win at the first event in Niagara Falls, Ontario on Saturday. Canadian Croxall survived an early fall to come back and win the opening round of 2013 Ice Cross Downhill World Championship Series. Four competitors at a time race down a steep track of ice on hockey skates, each trying to be the first to cross the finish line. The rules allow for contact between the skaters, which crashes commonplace at the sharply curving track. At a yacht sailing event, his record-breaking efforts of Friday may have already been surpassed, but Francois Gabbard and his MACIF yacht were heading the Vendée Globe on Sunday. The Frenchman set a new mark for the longest distance traveled in 24 hours in an open 60 monohull on Friday, only to see fellow Vendée Globe racers Alex Thompson and Jean-Pierre Dick go better by Saturday. But Gabbard had still moved up from third to first over the weekend to lead Dick by around four knots. And in golf, Gray McDowell continued his love affair with California by winning for the first time in two years when he held off playing partner Keegan Bradley to clinch the world challenge by three shots on Sunday. The Northern Irishman ended his 2012 campaign on a triumphant note as he closed with a four under par 68 to post a 17 under total of 271. Then go away, we'll be back for more.